knowing the properties of a normal distribution will allow you to understand how to do confidence levels and confidence intervals. Basically, if you have a normally distributed variable, we know that 34% of the cases will fall between the mean and one standard deviation below the mean, and 34% of the cases will fall between the mean and one standard deviation above the mean. When we add those two together, we find that 68% of the cases on uh, normally distributed variable are within plus or minus one standard deviation from the mean. In other words, we are 68% confident of capturing that true value. Now, if you know a variable is normally distributed, and if you take a random sample, then what you also know is that 68% of the time, you're going to be within the vicinity of that unknown population value, plus or minus one standard deviation. Likewise, 95% of the time, you're going to be in the vicinity of that unknown population value, uh, plus or minus two standard deviations. So by using the knowledge of a normal curve, we can estimate with confidence the likelihood of capturing a true population value by taking a sample of